Hello, my name's Lynn Stone. I'm a London-based children's book illustrator, and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to draw. Okay, we're going to have some fun and we're going to create some graffiti. And for that you're going to need a pencil, a black felt tip, a brush, a rubber, some water and some colouring pencils. And these are water-based colouring pencils. You can actually add water to them and it kind of turns into watercolour for an extra effect. Okay, first of all we're going to use our pencil and we're going to create some crazy graffiti style letters and uh, the name I'm going to write is Sam. Okay, so that's our basic shaping for the letters and then just to give it even more character I'm going to make the letters look as though they're melting. So we're going to add some kind of drip marks. Okay, that's all your pencil work done. Next, you need your felt tip. Now I've got a very thick one, but you could probably do with one a little bit thinner than this. This is a little bit on the thick side, but um, it should do. And then obviously we're going to go around all our pencil work. Now we use our trusty rubber to get rid of all the original pencil work. Okay, next we're going to apply some colour and I'm going to choose a kind of pinky red and an orange to start with. And when you're using a colouring pencil, never use the tip of the pencil, use the edge of the pencil. If you use the tip, you get marks like this, no subtlety at all. If you use the edge, you get a much softer, more controlled result. I mean, obviously you can colour in much darker than, than I am, but um, you want to start light and build the colour up because then you have control of the pencil, the pencil doesn't have control of you. Okay, now we're going to kind of add some shapes within that, just to line it up a bit more. Now we need to do something with the outside really, because at the moment it's just the, the letters Sam stuck on a piece of paper. So we're going to use a contrasting colour. I think I'm going to go for a kind of greeny blue colour. And I'm going to create a line on the outside, kind of in a way mirrors the bubble effect. So um, you just mirror the edge of the text and colour it in. Okay, next I'm going to add some, um, some kind of bubble shapes, why not, to mirror what I've done inside the text. But you can do stars, letters, faces, I'm sure you can come up with some fantastic ideas. We want to make the letters themselves a little bit more 3D inside as well. And there's two ways you can do that. Well, there's two steps in order to achieve that. First of all, go back to your original colours and darken the left edge. OK. 
Okay. And next we're going to use the uh, we're actually going to use the rubber again. I'm just going to add a little bit to that, just down there. Okay. Next we're going to use the rubber again. And with the rubber, you then rub out some of the pencil work from the right hand side, and that gives your letters a more 3D effect. Now, obviously, this is a very basic design. Um, I'm sure you can come up with all sorts of great ideas that you can try, but um, that's my basic step-by-step -step guide to creating a graffitied effect.